Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. And if you're new to this channel, support this channel by subscribing. Don't forget to press that notification bell. You'll always be updated when we upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, did you know the probation period of domestic workers in Qatar? Most of these Gulf countries have different probation period for all workers in different categories. Let's be on the professional level, let's be on the labor level, and let's be on um, the laborers themselves. Even the domestic workers, each of these categories normally have different probation period. For any other resource or any resource that may be set by the government itself, uh, resource well known or resource not known, just to protection, uh, protection uh, of the labor laws that may be put by a different country. Remember, in most of these Gulf countries, uh, workers have different laws and have different rules and regulations that govern the labor laws or govern uh, workers that go to their countries. Uh, and remember, when we look at uh, domestic workers, it's a very broad category. Domestic workers, uh, when you try to see the list of domestic workers, very many groups are piled up in domestic workers uh, group. But in today's video, we are going to, 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 to see what is, we are going to look at what is the probation period of a domestic worker in Qatar. Remember, a decree was signed to extend the probation period of workers in Qatar from three months to nine months. What does it mean? What does it mean with that law? It means that we originally the probation period of all domestic workers in Qatar was three months, but a new decree was signed which extended the probation period of all domestic workers in Qatar to be nine months. And what does it mean? All the recruitment agencies of domestic workers had to adhere to the new policy. How? They had to guarantee their, they had to guarantee their employer or they had to guarantee their customers or clients that come to, uh, the, uh, to get the domestic workers a, uh, a, a probationary period of nine months. What does it mean? It means that your employer can terminate you within three months in case you don't adhere to what is agreed with you. That is per under the new law that it gives your employer the right to terminate you in three months. Remember the uh, probation period was extended from three months to nine months. Meaning that if your employer comes to recruit you or comes to get you from your recruitment agencies, wherever your recruitment agencies that you belong to, you are supposed to serve a probation period of nine months. But out of the nine months probation period, in the three months, if you don't prove satisfactory to your employer, the employer has a right to terminate you. And when your employer terminates you, who loses? You, the employer or the recruitment agency, definitely the recruitment agency will, will get to lose out. Why? Because the recruitment agency where you are being recruited from, it will supposed to refund back the money paid by the employer to his account. That is by the law right now. So what does it mean? That the employer has a right to terminate you in the three months out of the nine probation months that you're supposed to serve. And in case, in case the employer does not terminate you, what does it mean? That it means that the recruitment agency where the, uh, the employer or where your madam or where your family recruited you from will have to take off 15% of the employer's money remitted to him. Let's say for example, this employer 
paid 17,000 Qatar Riyal to, to get you or to hire you from your recruitment agency. In case he terminates you in the three months, the recruitment agents will pay back the 17,000 Qatar Riyal back to your employer. He referred back all the money. Meaning that the recruitment agents loses at that time. But in case two, if you get to serve of the three months or you get to serve the nine months of the probation period, what does it mean to the recruitment agency? The recruitment agency, after the three months, remember we have a balance of six months. After the three months, the recruitment agency will deduct 15% from the employer's money in case you finish up the probation period of nine months. And each month, the recruitment agency where you, 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 were, get, you were got from, it will deduct 15% per every month from the employer's deposit money. Where does that money go? The mark, that of, part of that money, it goes to the recruitment agency as commission, and another money will be paid. The other part that will be divided, there is some extra amount out of the 15% that is supposed to be paid to the government. Why does the government get part of that 15%? Reason, in case you refuse to work the government has to get those dues out. In case you run away from that family before even you finish your contract. In case you get a colonical disease, you get unhealthy, you cannot work anymore. So those are some of extra, they are called the extra incurred cost. That is why the government has to take the 15%, has to get part of the 15% the recruitment agency gets from the employer. And what does it mean? It means that in case your employer violates his or her right, remember in this case, your employer has more right than your domestic worker. Although you also have your right that in case the madam mistreats you or your employer mistreats you, abuses you, or mistreats you in any, or he breaches, or is she, or breaches any of the agreed in the contract. They say, does not give you food, does not give you good housing, does not give you healthy care, medication, does not give you salary in time. That means this employer who recruited you from the recruitment agency will be violated by the government, or his rights to claim the deposit money will be de declined at one or the other. So many in this in these three parties we are looking at recruitment agency we are looking at uh, the domestic worker we are looking at the employer and the government those are the four entities we are looking in this scenario they all have to work hand in hand that is part the new decree or part the new law that was sent so meaning that the notice period of all domestic workers in Qatar was changed or was changed from three months to nine months uh, for nine months of the probation period and you have to make sure that you serve all the nine months of the probation or if you don't serve the nine months then the recruitment agency will be where they recruited you from will be fined by the government or will be fined whatsoever and even still uh, what you need to know that your employer has a right to terminate you in the three months he has the right to terminate you in the three uh, three months of the probation period hope i've tried to share something for you thank you so much for coming back to this channel you should be a little bit very careful thank you so much 
for coming but this channel is meant for mixed creation see again as we try to see more of uh, the domestic workers rights and uh, uh, domestic workers rights here in, in Qatar uh, thank you so much for coming back to my channel see you again in the next video as we try to, to discuss more of this interesting thing, things that we need to share in one way or the other feel free to comment in the comment section i'll always be more than happy to get back to you don't forget to like subscribe and share this video to reach out to those that can uh, that really need it at a given period of time thank you so much